Hi, I'm Natasha Natarajan, and thank you Zine, Queer Zine Library for having me today. I'm going to talk about my autobiographical comic strip called FML Comics. I've published four zines of my comic strip so far. They're A5 and I write them as and when life happens to me and they're like they're just about me and my life and things that happen to me day to day and I connect that to bigger things. Sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's just a lol punchline. And yeah, today I'm going to read from issue four, um, which most of the comic strips take place between 2017 and 2019, where a lot of things happened in my life. It was kind of a turbulent time. And so a lot of the strips were are about mental health and yeah, living in the countryside for the first time as well. Uh, the first one I'm going to read is called Everything's Connected. While I was living in the Outer Hebrides of Scotland, I would look onto a vast expanse of grass and sea while doing my dishes. I noticed that the colours always appeared so differently, depending on the light, the time of day and the season. It felt like such a revelation to truly acknowledge that nothing is fixed that way. I found myself thinking about fractals and the idea that everything is just a microcosm of something much bigger. It brought me great comfort and some kind of peace to see myself like that. Not fixed, but a reflection of phenomena and processes taking place around me. Fixed in my consciousness, but constantly changing. Now I'm constantly looking for the universal principles of life and nature and everything around me. And I've acquired a definite vibe. Wow, everything's so connected. Sometimes it's fun to look at myself from the outside. Shit, dude. Note to self. May have to forget about being taken seriously ever again. Lol, Natasha. Feeling like a delicate flower, are we? The next one is called Help, and it's uh, it's about feeling lonely and sad in, in your sadness. Let me help you, Tashels. I'm sorry, you can't this time. It's the first comic where I collaged with a bit of a dead drying plant. And actually this plant I found along when I was with the person who's in the comic. So it's kind of cute that way, if I may say so myself. The next one is a bit dark. Uh, it's called To Be or Not To Be. Yesterday I spent the morning in the middle of a very familiar spiral of doom. You will never pass your driving test. How will you ever survive? Might as well just end it all now. Wow, you have no perspective right now. In the afternoon I decided to go on a long walk with no plan or destination. While walking, I came across the skull of a dead sheep. I was reminded of Hamlet, of Shakespeare, and of that famous soliloquy. I reflected on it, probably for the first time since school. To be or not to be? Well, that is the question. For reals, man. As I read the full soliloquy now, I appreciate his words in a way that I was unable to at school, and I feel a profound timeless connection to the experience of being human www.shakespeareroxmysocks.com Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by asleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep perchance to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. Who would far deals bear, to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have, than fly to others that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all. Tell me about it. Hashtag suicidal thoughts. The last one's a bit more lighthearted. It's called Compostable. Recently I went for a walk on the beautiful coastline of Aberdeenshire. At the edge of a cliff while checking my phone, I thought, if I drop my phone into the ocean, it's not going to decompose. So why the fuck did I buy a compostable phone case? P.S. It was delivered from America. I can't even. Cool, that's it. Thanks for listening. Um, this is my zine. And I also have other zines too, so check out my website or my Instagram or whatever. And yeah, see you around.